Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the first video in this new series that I'm excited to bring to this channel. Um, in this video, I'm not actually reviewing anything, but I plan on adding a lot of content in this series. Um, I'm very excited about it. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while now. So I'm pretty excited to start this series of videos. So as the title says, I will be measuring Amazon's most popular LED headlights and auxiliary lights and measuring them for their actual um, wattage or amperage and compare it to the listing. Um, a lot of the listings claim some outrageous numbers, you know, 100 watts per bulb or whatever it is. Um, so I'm here to basically fact check them. So I've browsed hundreds and hundreds of listings uh, for headlights and auxiliary lights and I've noticed this trend where they are just claiming more and more ridiculously higher numbers um, that are probably not true. So I haven't really seen any videos um, actually measuring those wattages. So my goal is to shine some light uh, on how these actually perform and compare them to what the listing says. So I know that not all LED chips are created equal. Um, each chip can have a different lumen per watt um, efficiency. So this is just giving a general idea of how they will perform. Um, it's not going to be exact as far as you know their, their actual output, um, but it should give a good general idea of how each bulb performs. So a little disclaimer, I'm not the brightest bulb, that's the last of my puns, uh, and by no means an expert on this. This is more of a hobby. Um, I have been adding some kind of auxiliary lights to my cars for the past 10 years or so now. So it's something that I really enjoy doing, um, but by no means am I an expert. I don't have a warehouse set up. I don't have projectors set up. I don't have the, you know, a beam pattern 20 feet away so I can measure all of that good stuff. So this is pretty basic, but it should give a general idea of how these will perform. I also don't have um, a lux meter or lumens meter to measure the actual output of these as far as brightness. Um, so I just have this power supply here. Um, so this power supply is what I will be using to measure the wattage or the, the current, the amperage. This doesn't measure wattage, so it just gives an output of amperage. And this device I'm using is a TechPower TP30SWV. It's a DC um, switching power supply and it has a range of 9 to 15 volts and a maximum current of 30 amps. So in theory, we can measure up to about 400 watts or so, which I don't plan on going that high. I chose this one for a couple reasons. This has a direct 13.8 volt switch, which will mimic a running vehicle fairly closely. Um, and it's nice that it has a switch for it and I don't have to uh, mess with the knob, so we'll get a consistent reading every time, which is super nice. Um, the other reason is I actually work in the automotive industry and our test lab has, has and uses the same exact power supply. Um, so I know it's reliable, I know it works, and I know it's good. So, so that is kind of the reason why I chose this power supply. So every product I will be measuring, um, I will provide an AISN number, which stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number. Um, and like I said, I'll provide that. So you just take that number and throw it into Google and it'll just come up with the product exactly. Um, it's a 10 digit kind of um, unique identification number. So it should pop up. So instead of searching, you know, Hikari, LED, whatever, um, you can just use that ASIN number and it'll come up immediately. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, um, consider subscribing. Um, and looking for future videos in this series. Um, this will be part of a playlist. Like I said, this is the introduction. Um, and then all the videos I do after this will be in that playlist. So you can easily find all the videos I've done in this series. Um, so if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see measured, let's say you have an LED bulb in your car and you're kind of curious where it sits, um, Throw it in the comments, I will try to get to it. And like I said, I will be doing the most popular ones on Amazon um, for the headlights and auxiliary lights. 
Um, I'll be starting with the ones I already have, which I will show you in a second. Like I said, I've been modifying my vehicles for a while with lights. Um, this is my current vehicle. It's a 2006 Lexus GX 470. Um, I got some daytime running lights here, LEDs in the uh, fog light area, and then some ditch lights here with some side shooters, two spot beams, and then a slim uh, floodlight here, and then four little two by two inch uh, square LEDs here for the side lighting. But that's basically it. So stay tuned for future videos. Uh, thanks for watching.